Wow, did you see that? In those waves, the whole bow was shooting out the water and then crashing down, then going right down over the top of the bow. Sometimes you think it's going to submarine. And then it comes back up again. Right, the bow came out again. It must be about 15, I don't know, 20 foot out the water at the front there. And then it came over the top and crashed down again. What an exciting picture. You know, we're so lucky to be able to see that. You know, people don't realize, you know, in the past, you couldn't see that except go to the film. And you go to the film once a month or once a week, and you could see those. But, you know, our forefathers couldn't do that. We're so lucky today to have the internet. But, you know, the, I have a very important message. And that message is, look, guys, all these things use a lot of fuel. That particular boat there to drive through those waves, you know, it needs a lot of power, a lot of energy, and that is fuel, diesel, that goes through those massive engines. And whether it be cars, trucks that you've got, planes, trains, or um, boats, or luxury cruisers, or narrow boats, etc., you need fuel cells. You need fuel cells urgently, because the pri by ta this time next year, the price of fuel is going to shoot through the roof. And uh, this here, uh, there's my, my email address up there, info at tfuelcell.com. I suggest you contact us urgently to, to, to get to understand it, because it's just not being talked about. And people say it to me all the time, why haven't we heard of this? Why haven't we heard of this fantastic thing? And I say, well, I don't know. We can't get anybody to publish it. It's like it's held down by government agencies. I don't know. So uh, go for it. These are, are pictures of fuel cells. That's for trucks, big big engines, etc. And you can put them on on bigger engines. And you, you put them on more and more. You put a whole lot of them on to, to make up for the, for the size of the engine. And this one is for small ones, just one unit. Thank you very much for your time. And uh, look, get to it. So see if you can't find 40 percent you know if some of these trucks are saving uh, are using three or four thousand pounds a week of the big trucks and this stuff does not go through the, the injectors it goes through the air it does not affect it. it cleans up the engine cools the engine down because it forms a water vapor straight afterwards and it cools that engine down this can save you a lot of fuel guys and please get onto it and uh, and contact us on info at tfuelcell.com